Every year, more and more people decide to live in a metropolis. And as architects upgrade our environment, scientific researchers are upgrading the technology we use to repair our bodies. At the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago, they're developing new ways of using existing technology to improve the lives of America's 1.6 million amputees. The technology development is accelerating at an unprecedented pace. We're moving from devices that just open and close the hands using hooks that are operated when they shrug their shoulder to articulated fingers. And on the leg side, we're moving from fancy walking sticks, springs, to actuated knees and ankles. The computer learns what the patient is thinking and then it tells these motors how to operate. This has never been possible before. This new bionic pattern recognition technology seems like the stuff of science fiction, but arm units are already in use and leg units should be available in three to five years time. What we like to do is really develop things that aren't just going to get shelved at the end of development, but find their way to benefit the people uh, in need. It's a buzz for us to be able to see our technology change the life of somebody. James Young was an electrical line worker until an accident at work meant he lost both his arms. But after a muscle transfer and nerve realignment surgery, he's finally ready to be fitted with bionic replacements. It's fitting really well. It's actually amazing. I actually feel these arms are a part of me and I'm running them, they're not a foreign object. And James is not alone. With 185,000 amputations every year in the US alone and one million globally, the wider availability of bionic limbs could help millions regain the use of their arms or legs. There's an incredible opportunity to help many, many millions of people around the world with this technology. We're allowing people to do things that in some cases they haven't done for years, decades even. Our technology is smart and it learns the disability of the person um, and it helps them get their ability back.